Hello everyone, I'm Josh Kessler, Marketing Director for the Appalachian Wireless Arena. Welcome to the Appalachian Center for the Arts for the Heritage Highlight, Spotlight, if you will, of artists. And I have with me a special guest, Mr. Waylon Nelson. How are you today? Good, how are you Josh? Doing good. We, we're excited to have you. You're actually our first guest for Main Street Live, which takes place Friday, May 24th. We're super excited. You and Bourbon Branch will be here. I want to go a little deeper than just what folks know about Waylon. So tell me how you got your start in music. I, it's my heritage. Um, from um, my earliest memories were um, of my grandfather playing his guitar. Uh, he used to play an old Doc Watson tune called Mama Don't Wow in uh -huh. the living room. And I remember being as young as four and just dancing in his living room while he played. And so my grandparents, along with my great uncles, had a gospel quartet. Um, that's awesome. And I have the record still, and that's one of my prized possessions in the world. So music is in the blood. Yes. And you, I know off the camera you're telling me you're, you're from Floyd County, mm -hmm. that I'm sure that you've had some, you've had a lot, being in Eastern Kentucky, a lot of people take for granted there's plenty of opportunities to play mm -hmm. and being, being seen in the public eye. Where did you get your start? Where did you first take off? Yeah, so I feel like my story, you know, is like most, um, I started in the church. Okay. You know, that's, yeah. that's where, uh, other than my Fisher-Price uh, little cassette recorder that I would make tapes on that's as, cool. a, as a young child, uh, as, you know, in the church. Good. That's yeah. great. Um, what, I know a lot of people, you know, go try to go out of town and, and try to get to see shows. We try to keep everyone local to see, you know, shows at the arena mm -hmm. and, you know, especially places like this, Appalachian Center for the Arts. What would you tell folks go, going out instead of staying local to see a local, to see an artist? What, what makes Eastern Kentucky artists more valued to see? Man, I just think it's, again, it's like it's in our blood. Yeah. Like there's something about nature. this area. It's... It's almost, in a way, for me, it's shameful to say I play out in public because it's like everybody, I mean, who does it? Everybody's got a guitar or a banjo yeah. shoved up under the bed, you yeah. know? And it's just, when you have a community and a culture like that, that breeds talent, and I'm not just talking about mediocre talent, I'm talking about some of the biggest superstars in country music yeah. throughout history that, that's came from this area, along, you know, all the way from Virginia on up. And it's just, it's, it's amazing, really. I've always heard coming here, I, you know, I'm not originally from here, mm -hmm. but I've always heard that it's almost like a mini Nashville. Eastern Kentucky is like a mini Nashville. You will find the most talented individuals in Eastern Kentucky. Do you agree? Absolutely, I do. It's, uh, and I would like to see that culture grow even more because yeah. we have this inferiority complex in Eastern Kentucky, and we feel like we're never good enough. But recently, with so many stars, you know, just this recent influx of mm -hmm. country stars, if you will, coming from Eastern Kentucky has inspired so many people, and they feel like, I am good enough. Mm -hmm. And we don't only need that in our music scene, but we need that in business. Yes. And we need that in just our culture, because, you know, we are good enough. We are good enough. I agree. Yeah. That, uh, that changes the mindset, especially for younger artists on the rise. Yeah. That gives them something to shoot for because they look up to the Dwight Yoakams, the Loretta Lynns, the Chris Stapletons, the, uh, you know, all those artists. And who did you idolize growing up? Who, who besides your family, besides who, you know, growing up with in the church, who yeah. did you idolize music-wise? Who, who caught your ear at a young age? You know, it's a funny thing because those influences have changed change over the years. You, you kind of morph in, into something uh, new as a, as a young uh, man, whenever I played, uh, which I guess I, I'm still a young man, according to who you talk to. <laughs> young man, we're, we're young man. <laughs> yeah. We'll stick with that. Uh, but when I started playing guitar, uh, I was big into Keith Urban because okay. the man, he had it all. You know, yeah. He was a good vocalist, uh, unbelievable guitar player. He was, he was a good good songwriter. He, he could do Showman all that. Showman, too. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. So that that's kind of where I've started, but that kind of has morphed over the years. Um, that changes with age? It does, but it changes with experience too. Yeah. And there's just new artists that you're introduced to. You have different life experiences. Um, and you know, of course I play a certain style of music, but I'm influenced by all kinds of stuff. I think 
Billy Eilish right now is like one of the okay. coolest things out. Like, that's okay. Yeah. That's neat. Yeah. What would you, someone not coming, not not experienced Waylon Nelson yet? How would you describe your style? What is your style? I would say that the industry would probably describe it as Americana. Okay. Um, one of my biggest lyrical influences is probably Jason Isbell. Okay. Um, and I love his style. So, of course, with a name like Waylon Nelson, you can't really deviate too far from country music. <laughs> that's, it's, uh, that's true. It's kind of a curse. Uh, but you'll get a sense of bluegrass on my last album. You'll get a sense of there's a you know song that's more rock influenced. Okay. Um, so it's it's really kind of runs the gamut, and that's intentional. I don't want people. I've heard albums that are fantastic that yeah. I absolutely love that stylistically doesn't really change from beginning to end. And you I like to give people some variety. You don't want to be characterized in just one genre. Is yeah. what you, you don't want to be just stuck that's, in that. Yeah, absolutely not. That makes sense. That's uh, And that's neat. That's something that if folks don't know at home, they're learning. Yeah. And another thing, too, we want to mention, you will have CDs, you'll have merchandise to bring yes. for Main Street Live so those folks who are not familiar with you can purchase your stuff and take home. Yes, listen. absolutely. So, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely check that out. Uh, for more information on you, where can folks go? Okay, so where I keep people the most updated is on my Facebook page. Okay, um, Facebook. I have a Facebook music page that I keep all the events updated when there's there's new uh, music that's released. That's that's where I kind of do that. There's also yeah. a Bandcamp page. Okay. And then the music's available to digitally stream or download on all platforms. All platforms, yeah. okay. Yeah. So we're excited for that. We're excited to have you for Main Street Live. That's going to be fantastic. Got a great lineup, of course. Yes. Uh, very talented uh, folks from you know Eastern Kentucky, South Southeastern Kentucky, South Central Kentucky. They're mm -hmm. all mixed, it, thrown in the mix. What are Waylon Nelson's goals for the future? So for the immediate future, um, I have a new batch of songs that I would love to put out. So soon, I hope to be re um, you know working on a new record. Great. Um, that's one thing. And then in the more distant future. My main thing is, and this, this sounds like a cliche, but it's it's very true, the music's not about me. And one of the hardest things, and you'll find this for most artists, most singers, songwriters, the hardest thing is self-promotion because it, it just doesn't feel right. You know, We love what we do, and it's about the music. Yeah. So my biggest goal is just to reach as many people as I can and affect as many people as I can emotionally with it's my art. It's hard to want to push yourself without feeling self-absorbed. Yeah, right? without a, a hinge of narc narcissism, yes. you know? Yes. And I, I don't like to think of myself as a narcissist. I got, I got that, okay. I want to be categorized yes. that way, but at the same time, no one's going to tell your story like you are. So, there you go. Uh, but, but my goal is to reach as many people as I can and, and truly develop those relationships with people, not fans, but people. Yeah, know. just the yeah. connection. Yeah. Let me ask you one last question. I know that we've got we've got a segment we're getting into have you, actually have you play, which is going to be fantastic. What advice can you give to the younger generations growing up about songwriting, and and would you would you encourage them to run chase their dreams, or would you say do it as a hobby? How would you how would you what would you say to to a younger to a younger kid asking you? Hey, That's some advice. As far as your dreams, I think that, you know, unless you pursue what you, you love in life, then, then you're never going to be happy. Um, for a while, I've tried to, you know, chase money, and I think that's where it's at. But it's not about money. Like, you can spend the rest of your life chasing money and maybe be successful in that way. But, you know, you're going to be miserable unless you do what you love. Um, and then as far as songwriting or just artists in general, I think that this runs – across the spectrum of artists, um, have confidence in yourself. You know, you have your influences, and those are the people you look up to, and yeah. you, in, the, in a sense, want to be those people. But I encourage you to be yourself. Nobody can be a better you than, than you. you be know? your own version. Yeah, be a better right. version yeah. of what they are. Because be people's already heard... Um, a Garth Brooks or, or something, Luke you know, Bryan who needs a, that guy again? Yeah, you, you need something what, different. What he does, but yeah. who needs that guy again? Yeah, yeah. be your own. Yeah. Well, we're excited to have you. If you're just tuning in, May 24th, Waylon Nelson, Bourbon Branch at the Billy Johnson stage outside the Expo Center for Main yep. Street Live. Super excited. Definitely check him out. Get his merchandise while you're there. 
Appreciate you talking with me, getting ready for a cool performance from you. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, Josh. Thank you. Rivers frozen steel, wind is blowing cold, there's ice on the windows, ice on the road, there's ice on parts of me, and I don't even know. That four days off, it's hard to go back, and I don't want to leave, and I don't want to pack, and I just want to lay right here. And just relax Cause I don't want to go You're all I've ever known The road is calling me There's places I must be I make my way to the Bradford County line If you leave right now, I'll be there on time So I kiss your face and say my goodbyes And I fight back tears and mention how to hide Cause when you got a family, you've got to provide Girls, I don't want to go You're all I've ever known The road is calling me There's places I must be Hey. 